What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the electrics. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you guys are seeing this video and life is going amazing for you. Now you guys have clicked on this video because you are seeing us try Mediterranean food for the first time. Now Christy's back at home doing some work. I want to let you guys know, I want to tell you a little story right now. When I was in high school, I was kind of an adventurous eater. I wasn't like the most adventurous eater. A lot of my friends like to a lot of my friends were adventurous eaters. And so uh, one day, uh, my friends took me out uh, and well, it was actually after band practice and I tried sushi with them for the first time. I actually think I talked about that in Christy and I's sushi video that we posted a few weeks ago. After that, I feel like that was like my first exposure to uh, non-American cuisine. And so I loved it. I wanted to try more non-American cuisine. And then I tried Thai food shortly after that. And I loved that. But one thing I was never adventurous to really try was Mediterranean food, like actual authentic Mediterranean food. And so here in San Diego, where Christy and I live, there is a place called Luna Grill, which is actually an authentic Mediterranean place. And they have a few locations. And so that is where we're going to be going today. We're going to be going to Luna Grill to get some delicious food. I got food from there and I'm gonna pick it up. So I'm gonna go pick up the food right now and we're gonna get this video started. I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. All right, everybody, so we got our Mediterranean food for this video. This smells absolutely amazing. It's time to get all this home and it's time to eat. <gasps> get it. Babe. Get it. No, that's my favorite. What is it? Baklava. Oh, yeah. Hey, we had to, we had to get some baklava. Ooh. Is that falafel? Falafel? And the waffle? Babe! It's some deliciousness. Babe! Babe! Why haven't we gone here before? I just wanted to build suspense. Do you want to keep this? No, we're good. <gasps> Ooh, tasty. I'm very excited. Okay, so everybody, uh, this is our first time trying. I've never been to Luna Girl. I knew a psycho girl in college who worked there, and that's like the extent. They have multiple Luna Girls? Oh, yeah. In like other states? Um, I thought that maybe yeah. it was a different Luna Grill because I don't think it's a national chain. Well, oh, Kona Grill, that's what I was, I was about called. to say. Like I, I only knew Luna there would be a San Diego. I wonder thing. if it's a, it's like the same thing. It's I'm just... actually pretty stoked about this, honestly. Yeah, we'll After see. we've done like two fast food videos now, and um, they've uh, like this is the food that I like, like? enjoy eating. Yeah, same. Like like, let's do a rundown here as Christy gets into the first vegetable. So what we have right here, obviously, is falafel. And uh, what falafel is, it's basically like fried chickpeas. Um, and then they have some pickled vegetables over there. Uh, right here is the hummus. This is organic hummus with uh, pita bread, which is a staple in Mediterranean culture from what I understand. Now this is our first time trying this, so it's, uh, I shouldn't actually pretend to know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, be about. be careful. This right here is the lamb kebab Ooh. place. And lamb, I actually don't even think I've ever had lamb before. Which is funny, because my last name is Lambkin. Ooh. Ooh. That's the garlic. That's, that's yeah, my that favorite thing. So bad. It, oh, it's so good. It smells so amazing. This is literally like a garlic paste. If Eric could wear cologne and garlic, he would. I would. Um, I'd put this on a sandal and eat it. This is just a chicken kebab plate right here. That is, are you just eating celery? Oh my gosh. You're What's not that? gonna like it. It's like vinegar. Yeah, I don't like vinaigrette stuff. Uh, so mm -hmm. we, um, we got a bunch of deliciousness right here and we're gonna get into it. A few moments later. Okay. So, Christy asked what falafel is, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure some of you this watching this video. Falafel, it looks like a little nugget baby of some kind. Um, it is fried, what do but- Would you dip it in? So we have dipping options here, okay? Um, that one I'm staying away from. So, falafel is chickpeas that are deep fried. So do you, want to, do you not want to dip first? Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. What do you think? It's good. 
Whole Foods is better? Yeah, I'm gonna say the um, th these are a lot drier. Well, than um, what I've been used to. I'm going for maybe the hummus. With, maybe with some, I'm going for the hummus. Maybe with some garlic. Oh, that garlic sauce is amazing. So gross. Mmm, the hummus is good. I can eat hummus all day long. I will try the hummus. Hummus is fire. I used to hate hummus. Me too. I think everybody's out there is probably hated hummus at some point. At some point. Mmm. It's actually not bad. It's delicious. So you've never, so you've had hummus before. Let me pop that one up and I'm gonna try the green. I think it's all the same hummus. So you've never had Mediterranean food, but you've had different types of hummus. Well, I've had chicken. And these look like kebab, like it was supposed they're to be a they're, they're kebabs, yeah. Yeah, so I have, I've actually had, well, I wouldn't know if you would consider it Mediterranean though. I have a friend from Uzbekistan and he, like his family makes this kind of food, like mm -hmm. kebabs and pita bread and hummus and everything like that. So I feel like, yes, I have, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. I'm a bit disappointed with the, with the falafel. Waffle? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just like, it's very, I'm gonna get the chicken. It's not what I thought it would be. I don't know. Maybe I just had the Whole Foods falafel was some, was better for some mm. reason. The chicken's good. And it's breasts too. I don't know. I think this is like a lemon chicken. This is fire. So far as you're going, it's starting off good for you. Um, there was a pita place that I used to go to, but I want to say it was, I, I'm just going to say this right now. I get Greek food and Mediterranean food. I know. Aren't they the same thing? I, I don't think they are. Because Somebody let us know. Greek food. Um, oh, shoot. oh, great. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Uh, they might be the same thing. I don't think, but I, I we're the same because Greece is right on the Mediterranean. Oh, people are going to roast us. Um, I don't know. Every time I say statements like that, I feel like somebody always corrects me and tells me I'm wrong. So I choose not to just say things like that. But, um, but yeah, uh, regardless, uh, there was an old, there was a pita place that I went to, but it said Greek, Greek food. So mm. I would, when I think of gr like Greek food, I think salad with feta and, um, grape, grape tomatoes. Well, they have, um, the, uh, gyros, 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 gyros. It's okay. Or it's lamb and everything. Maybe, maybe it's like <clears throat> when you come to the United States, you're like, oh, American food, but the way we eat on the West Coast is different than how we eat in the South. So maybe that's, that's kind point. of how it is. That's a good point. Like it's just the way they make it or their variation of it. Hmm. Do you like, is that the hummus? Is that hummus the same as that? No. Uh uh. Okay, well, this is different hummus, apparently. It is very good. My dad used to travel to Greece for his job. He is what, like, you know how I just, like, love olives and, feta, like, feta cheese and everything like that? He's, he's the first the one story. who brought me, like, Kinder chocolate, you know? Well, now Kinder is a like, very common thing yeah, here. Yeah, when I was a little kid, it wasn't. My dad used to go to Australia, and he brought me back. He's, I, every time my dad used to travel, he'd go to either China or Australia, and he'd bring me back. Um, he brought me back Tim Tams once hmm. as a kid. And then he brought me like back with the stuffed kangaroo once. Oh, do you know what I loved when my dad would bring the Biscoff cookies off the plane? Those are good. Those are my favorite. Um, I I don't know. Those those childhood memories will always stay with me. Same. How do you like the salad? Really good. So you didn't get any. <laughs> Ooh, it's got vinaigrette on it. I know that's because I dumped it on there. Sorry. So far, it's absolutely amazing. To be honest. I'm gonna try the lamb. Every time I hear, I think of lamb, or I see lamb, I think of uh, Adam, that um, Adam Sandler movie, Big Daddy. Lamb and tuna fish. I've never heard of it. 
Oh, you've never, mm. you've never seen Big Daddy, I don't think. I have this thing, one of my favorite Adam Sandler, I just don't remember that. The guy that um, he's, Ooh, that's good. he's friends with, he's like, I can't remember what he was saying exactly goes together, but he's like, it goes together like lamb and tuna fish. Adam Sandler. We'll have to watch that movie. Mm. It's The Lamb's Good? Mm-hmm. It tastes pretty lean. Ooh. It tastes lean to me. That is good. I honestly don't know. I've never looked into the nutrition facts of the lamb before. Have you ever seen How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? I think you've quoted it before. You've never seen it with Matthew McConaughey? Oh, and Kate Hudson? I, I probably have. So she's torturing the guy, right? Like she's got a bet to like make him break up with her. And so he makes this entire dinner that's like lamb chops and stuff like that. And she pretends that she's um, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, so she's like making a big scene and she's like, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. <laughs> so it's, you have no idea what I'm talking about. No. No, it's no. just really funny. Oh, people probably do. So funny. That's like the best movie of all time. Oh, that garlic sauce is so good. It's safe to say Eric is not a vampire. I love it. I don't know why I love it. So, actually, I know exactly why I love it so much. It like, it literally is pure garlic. I know. It is like, pure that, like, garlic. like burnt my nose. Burnt my nose hairs right now. Wow, that hummus is amazing. I don't like it for some reason. It tastes different. Than this? Yeah. Hummus, like, I don't know. I I feel like that's that's more of like a every everybody. That's like a traditional hummus. hummus. You don't like this one? Yeah, it's just something that tastes off to me. With it. I don't know. It tastes like hummus. Maybe if you mix it with um, rice. It looks like guacamole. Maybe it's just the color that's freaking you out, babe. Uh, I've I eat a lot of different colors when it comes to food. Still gross. This is horrible to say. I'm full. How are you full already? I don't know. You have to at least, um, well, we have dessert, so sorry, but you can't, you're not allowed to be full. This is the shortest mukbang ever. Mukbang. Christy's full. People get very offended when we say mukbang and not mukbang. Do do? It's a mukbang though, so take your offense. Get in line. Um. You got a hot date or something? My my brother. I take pre workout cardio before. I don't know. He's just. Do you? I just love him. When your family members ask you for uh, advice and stuff. Advice as far as health and fitness. Yeah. Do you like teens? She's just let her breathe. Babe, in just the last video. Let her breathe. It was literally her entire. The entire video was. If she doesn't get it from me, she'll get it from you eventually. She knows one of us will eventually cave. That's why she hangs out. It's always you. It's like 95% you. It just shows who's going to be the fun parent. That's all it shows. Yeah, right. I'm not having kids as of right now. Well, as of right now, but I'll still be the fun one giving treats. You have the biggest ears, teens. <laughs> as... As, as I was saying, so when your family like asks you for health and fitness advice, um, do you think they really like take it seriously when you give them? Depends on which family member it is. I, I don't think my family does whenever I No, I don't think them. your family does at all. Um, depends on who it is and what they're asking. I always give them the best answers that I can and whether they take the advice or not? I'll, I sleep better. I sleep at night. So. Well, if they want to, if they want to listen, you have a new podcast, so they new can podcast. You're gonna plug it. The Girl Hustle Project. We're on iTunes. I'm surprised you haven't plugged it already. I'll put a link down below. Um, yeah. Everybody can go download. Yeah, go check it out. Go listen. I'm stoked for you. Thank you. I'm very proud of you because um, Christy executes when she really wants to do stuff. Um, but she was talking about this one day in the car. Um, she's like, I really want to start a podcast. And I think it would be really cool. And I was like, that's great. like, because I started a podcast and, you know, it, was, it took me a while to do. It wasn't an actual podcast, though, was it? Like a yeah, it was, podcast platform and everything? Uh -huh. oh, oh, okay. Um, what was it called? Uh, I just called it Electric Talks. Do you want the least, last piece? 
So. Is it still live? Yeah. Um, it's just a lot. I have a hundred episodes. Really? Just this is, talking. Isn't this I've a YouTube you about channel? This. Yeah. It's, it went to I, my iTunes podcast and YouTube. But you re the audio, so, but it was a YouTube video you recorded and the audio went to the podcast. Right. Gotcha. That's a lot of episodes. I just um, finished episode five. We talk about emotional eating and self-sabotage. And so it's just, it's just fun, but I appreciate you being proud because it's. Well, I was going to say, I'm proud. I'm proud of you because like you told me one day that you wanted to start it and um, you, you did everything yourself. You went home and you found what pro, like what software you needed. You got your your microphone. You got everything set up. And you did everything yourself. And um, like especially with like how much you already have going on, um, that's you know that's that's a lot to do. It start you started a podcast yourself, and so um, yeah, I just it really I, wasn't that hard. Well, I, I thought it was gonna be like this huge long process. I figured it out every, yeah, I figured it out and I uploaded it in an episode. I did the entire process within like four hours. It, and I thought it was gonna take me like so much longer. What, um, what other future episodes do you have? Um, that I plan to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got like this huge, well, that was one thing about the podcast was that <clears throat> I told myself that I wouldn't do it unless I could come up with you know, 10 solid ideas of like talking topics and stuff like that. And when I actually like sat down to do the topics, I came up with like 30 within minutes of like everything that I wanted to talk about. And I really like writing. And so I always wanted to be a blogger, but I just, I feel like people get lost in reading and a lot more people like podcasts because they can listen as they go and do things. Right. And so basically everything that I would put in an email or a blog post or everything like that, I've just put into a podcast. And then people actually get to hear my, like the voice and tone behind my words mm -hmm. and everything like that. It's been really fun. It's, I've been really blessed. Like I've gotten a lot of really, really great comments and reviews from it so far. And really? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like from messages and people like that. Oh, okay. I was going to say like, if you, um, you should get people to review it in the iTunes store. I do have one review so far. That's awesome. Yeah. Is it positive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's and good. So it's been really, yeah, it's been really good. My whole point is to just try to make impact and, and just go out and try new things, do new things. Yeah, absolutely. Cause that's definitely, I'm sure that was like, it was an adjustment for you to have to, um, talk like to your computer, talk to a microphone, you know, like for me, after doing a hundred episodes, it was just hard to like keep doing something like to keep like talking to yourself is really hard. Like, you know, over and over again, especially with mental, cause I did my, a lot of my stuff on mental health and, um, it was, yeah, it was just, it was, it was hard. I think for me, it's when I get in front of the microphone, I'm not talking to myself when I'm recording it. I'm actually thinking about if I were to be like sitting down and talking to one of my clients, like this is what I would say to them mm -hmm. if they were dealing with this issue and that type of stuff. And so it's actually really fun. I really enjoy it. I'm glad. So, and now it's, Typically like a lot of these things I would throw up on my Instagram story, but without having like 50 stories People have to like listen through I'm just like hey talked about this swipe up go listen. Yeah, so it's just really fun and I can get like my entire thoughts out and I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. Go like, check it out. I really look forward link to doing it. link will be down below in the yeah. description um, We haven't gotten into the pita bread You get it Although this is this doesn't look like it's pita. flatbread. Okay. You want to try that? Yeah, okay. Um, do you want to try? Okay, so there's spicy, there's tzatziki, tzatziki sauce. I think this is the spicy one. Oh, mmm. Okay, so this, this really tastes like Greek. Like this is what you put on a exactly gyro. And the flatbread's amazing. Our pita bread's amazing. Oh. Mmm. This is good. But just like. Whenever I, I think about this type of cuisine, I also think about pita bread. Um, but going back to your question about the family and friends, my my brother texted me the other day and he goes, hey, 
like, what's up? He goes, I hear Girl Hustle has a brother. And I was like, yeah, it does, because I just came out with Guy Hustle. Mm -hmm. And he was like, where can I sign up? And I was oh. like, yeah. And so he's he's started the program. He's loved it so far. That's awesome. And so now, and I rarely talk to my brother. Like, I love my brother, but we're just, we have busy lives and stuff like oh, yeah. that. And so now he's like, he's he's texting me right now, but he was, he's like asking me about my the honest supplements that i take and mm -hmm. like my pre-workout and everything like that and what i recommend and so it's just it's fun it's fun when they're taking action and they love it and right. anyway like family and stuff like that when they are like hey i want to do training i'm like i'm gonna get personal in your personal life yeah like, people don't. it's this is gonna be professional people not usually like that um anyway i love it I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm really, really proud of you. I have just like meeting you. You've been the most amazing example of hustle. Like really. I wouldn't say that. And so to just like hear that you're proud of me, like it, it really, it's, it's not like your mom like, oh, I'm proud of you. It's like, it really means something when you say that. So thank you. Um, I, I really do hope you, um, and enjoy it and keep keep doing it because I'm you're you're a great speaker oh you're sweet <laughs> great speaker um so overall take time. it take it overall so freaking good it's a so freaking good out of 10 we've been doing ratings at the end of our videos 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 for you well, you haven't even tried the baklava yet this is one of Christy's favorite this is my favorite Christmas food it's a Christmas food for you? I don't know why. We always had it at Christmas. Oh my so, gosh. It's, 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 um, okay. So I just have to, I just have to say that. Same. Making baklava is one of the most complicated desserts yeah, ever. So, like this pastry puff. Do you see? No. Do you see those layers? So, so this is what they hold do. Hold on. Baklava is phyllo dough that's been layered. It, you flip, you roll. You flip, you roll. Like every single one of those layers, somebody rolled it out. Flipped, yeah. Rolled, flipped, rolled. I watch a lot of baking shows. Right. Um, and Christy loves the loves. Great British, the Great British Baking Show. They made this, and I had no idea. It was so complicated to make, well, but it's honey. Oh my gosh. It's so and pistachios too, I think. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is the inside look right there. That was like orgasm That's, in your mouth. It, I would definitely agree with you. <laughs> it um, is so freaking good. I have always wanted to do a baklava challenge, but I just, that's one of those things. Sticky mess. I don't, like when I do food challenges with like one particular food, like that's why I don't want to do a peanut butter challenge because it, it would completely ruin that love for that food. So I don't know if I'd be able to do that. Um, plus it'd be very, very expensive. Yeah, it would um, be expensive. So my overall rating on this, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Cause uh, of the falafel? Yeah, just for the falafel. But I, I have, it's been a long time since I've really enjoyed, um, like I, I usually enjoy our videos, but like this was amazing, amazing. So um, definitely go check out Luna Grill. <coughs> if you guys are, I'll be definitely saving a lot of this pita bread for later and, and enjoying it during the week. Um, it's really good so much. Do you want do you want some peanut bread? If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below and let us know what you guys want to see next for the next carry out takeout video. Yes. Now we've done Mediterranean. Oh. Maybe we can go back and try Indian food again. No. <laughs> I just think Although we ate what did we eat on the live stream last night? Um that was that was curry. Oh, so I, I think if you had the tikka masala you would totally have had a different experience for sure i would have liked it even more than i already did yeah yeah from an from an actual you didn't have to like you like tikka masala like an actual dish indian dish oh because oh, what you had it last was night so wasn't oh. it wasn't tikka masala. it was still good though it's because i made it uh if you guys enjoy the video be sure to let us know and, and when he says made it he means bought it and opened the I did buy a note well and poured it on butternut squash. Yes, and shout did. out to everybody that was on that live stream. Yeah, that was um, cool. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. The electrics. We're out. I know, me too. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good.